Hello, my name is Jay Hausen and I work at the Naval Air Warfare Center Aircraft Division performing electromagnetic pulse testing. High voltages are one of my passions and I like to utilize demonstrations involving high voltages to educate people about interesting things. Today I'm going to talk to you about alpha radiation. Alpha radiation is a type of ionizing radiation and is one of the three main radiations that you have to watch out for with nuclear materials. My associate Bailey here is going to view this demonstration with us and give us her impressions about it. What do you think, Bailey? Is alpha radiation dangerous? I haven't heard of it, so I don't really know. Well, alpha radiation is a high energy helium nucleus. Basically, a, a atom, such as uranium, might kick out an entire element of helium and send it off on its way really, really fast. And this helium can hit things and cause damage. It's, for example, if the alpha particle were to hit your DNA, it could damage your DNA and it would physically hurt you in a way, cause cancers, that sort of thing. Do you think that from where you're standing, are you interacting with any alpha radiation right now? Well, there's nothing starting anything, so no. Well, there's nothing around. And you'd be right. So there are some things, though. Radon. Radon is in the air all the time, and we breathe radon regularly, and that in fact decays with an alpha particle. So when you breathe it in, alpha particles would get inside you, and that, that could pose a problem. But we're going to deal with some safe alpha radiation today. Sound good? Okay. So inside this little device here, this is a brass screw with a ferrule. I have a little chip of americium-241. Americium is an element that's used in smoke detectors in virtually all of our houses. Um, it emits a low level of alpha radiation, which leaves an ionization trail that is easily blocked by things like smoke. So it's easy to determine if there's a fire inside your house. I've mounted this and I use it to do this demonstration. The device you see in front of me is called an alpha spark detector. It is an ancient device from back at the beginning of when we were discovering radioactive materials, and it will only detect alpha radiation. Now, the way it works is I've got a fine grid of very thin tungsten wire that's spread across an electrode which is recessed below it. Now, normally it doesn't arc, but when there's an alpha particle that leaves behind an ionization trail, it will. And I can show you this now. So there's my alpha source. I'll just bring it down. Bailey, you can come in closer and get a good look. Is it dangerous? It is not dangerous. Now, what do you notice here? If I'm this far away, nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. But what about this far away? Yeah, fine. And this far away? Oh, I might get a little bit that far away. And then a whole bunch if I go in really close, right? Mm -hmm. What does this tell you about alpha radiation? Does it tell you anything? I'm not sure. Well, it tells you that alpha radiation doesn't go very far. It only starts to detect the particles when they're about, what is that, an inch and a half away? And there's a reason for that. It turns out that air, the air that we breathe, is very dense. And the alpha particle just goes through the air and bounces off the air molecules, and eventually it slows down to where it doesn't have any energy anymore. So alpha particles, you're there. The alpha particle source is here. You're not actually getting any alpha particles. Now, if I were to go, say, this close, now I'm getting some alpha particles. But wait, the dead layer of skin on my finger is still too thick for the alpha particles to get through. So the alpha particles, when they're on the outside of your body, typically aren't harmful to you unless they're in very, very strong concentrations. Now, what about that piece of paper? I see we've got a piece of paper here. Do you think this could block the alpha particles? Probably. Probably. All right, let's try it. You ready? So I've got my alpha particles going there, and no alpha particles. So even this piece of paper, the flimsiest of paper can block all the alpha particles coming from this radioactive source. So it's not dangerous. So it's not particularly dangerous. Where alpha radiation really gets you, though, is if you get it in your soft tissues. If I were to eat this, I would have a problem. If I were to get it in my eye, I would have a problem. We would not be doing that, of course, because we safely handle our radioactive materials. 
Well, thank you, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. This is our demonstration involving alpha particles. Stay tuned next time for maybe future demonstrations involving the other kinds of radiation.